Hey guys, welcome back. This is Californium. So I saw this on the front page, and I saw the name, Californium, and I'm like, okay, I live in the non-radioactive isotope of that, of that element. And then I saw something about being a writer, and I saw a nice art style, and I saw something about alternate realities or something, and then I said, say no more. And I figured we'd just give this a shot, so I'm going in blind, like usual. And let's just find out together what, what in the world this game is. One, two, three, your loss crushes me. Four, five, six, where are you, Alice? One, two, three, scared of what will be. Four, five, six, we'll meet by the sticks. One, two, three, your loss crushes me. Four, do I have to type that? Five, six, where are you, Alice? One, two, three, scared of what will be. Four, five, six, we... We'll meet by the sticks. Whoops. Someone's at the door. Martian Mines. Wait, what am I writing about here? We've got the Typing of the Dead intro so far. Yep, WASD to move, shift to sprint. Alright. What's going on here? Martian Mines past... Oh no! Past you on... Oh no, it's like uh, our draft for our... Novel, I'm sure, which is also bad, but I thought it was Rent, which is probably worse. This place is a mess, but at least it's all paper as far as I can tell. Final note. Oh, no. Nope. Payment problems, too. Never mind, I spoke too soon. This person's pretty screwed. Uh... Is it the magazine I wrote for? 1962, 1964... Or is it 1967? A little hard to read from this point. No mattress, or no uh, springboard. 1965, so it seems to take place in the 60s, or I'm someone who used to be maybe successful back in the 60s. Thea Winter Clothes. Did, did I just have somebody, is somebody moving in or moving out? Is the obvious question at this point. Worrying. Okay, who is at the door? For years now, Ever since we lost our little Alice, I have shared my life with a stranger consumed by grief. So apparently my name is- my name is Elvin. Where did your dreams go? What happened to the Elvin Green who wanted to offer his wonderful stories to the world? I'm leaving to escape the madness that is slowly killing you before it destroys me too. I'm leaving so I can fight my own battles. I would have loved to have you by my side. Good luck, Elvin. T. Yep, she's leaving me. That's why our clothes are out there. Let me check something. I'm seeing that my mo my mouse is on my second monitor. Oh, yep. If I click when it goes off off the monitor, I'm, uh, that's that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> Apparently, this game's not designed for two monitor gameplay. Because uh, my mouse will scroll off to the second screen, and then if I click, I'm in trouble. Well, hopefully, I'm facing the right direction. Hello, you reached four one five six one two one nine two eight. Leave a message after the tone. Hey buddy, it's Don. I've been trying to reach you for two weeks now. I'm still waiting on your copy for the radio ads. The campaign launches at the end of the month, and the clients want me to fire you to get your ass over to Weird Worlds on the double. Get your ass to Weird, weird Worlds. Oh, whoa. So I'm working on someone's campaign ads. Martian Mines is- is it belted closed, or is that just the cover? No, it looks like it actually is belted closed. Oh! 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 Excuse me? We're having migraines. And now the TV's acting up. We're off to a good start. This is gonna be a normal thing to happen. It looks like it's the end of the line for you, Mr. Green. Incurable writer's block. A brain corroded by mind-bending drugs and dime store alcohol. The woman of your dreams and your little girl. No more than distant memories. Who'd want to live such a nightmare? Six? What's six? Is that floating off? It is floating off the television. That's freaky. What does six mean?
Well, the good news is I don't know if I have to... Maybe I don't have to click on anything. Maybe I don't have to worry about the monitor problem. What is that? Hi. You like staring at people through their windows? Is that, is that what, you get, what you get excited about? A little uncomfortable about that whole situation. So what am I using six for? The writing? Should I leave? They said I should try to get there on the double, right? The drugs? It's like cereal. This place is a mess. Smoking in the bathtub. Yep, there's the drugs. Prescription, I'm sure. Broken mirror. Always a good sign. Okay, I guess I'm missing something important here. Oh. That was just the symbol. There it is. What? 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 Things in my apartment are changing. This is not normal behavior at all. Things are just becoming the symbol. Maybe I click on it when it comes back? Come on. Does it only happen when I'm not there? Uh. It is proximity based. Sneaky. Can I click on it from here? I do. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is a that is a different location. What is that? The what am I? This the mayor? That's the California flag. And an expensive looking bust. This one cycles on a on a pattern. The wall's gone. It just becomes a door. Okay. Didn't expect this part. What's in here? I just got a free expansion on my house, basically. Oh, there's a bed in here. Looks nicer than the- See? That's a proper bed. That's how you do it. Am I just supposed to try to slowly rebuild this place? Oh, now it says three. There's three more to find. Alright, what else is changing in my apartment? It's a hidden object game all of a sudden. So some of them cycled automatically. Oh, something in here. Is it you? What changed in here? There it is. Yeah, that one's not broken. That's a good sign. Alright, two more. Look for some evidence of something flashing while I walk around. Oh, there it is. Front door. Oh. That looked slightly off from where the symbol was. Was there one over here? It's probably in the bedroom, honestly. I would expect something to be to be right. Yo, no, it's Thea. But do I get her back? Oh, clicked out. Click off the screen. There we go. Oh, congratulations, Mr. Green. It looks like you can achieve something after all. How touching! But this is just the first step. Writing is a solitary vice. Are you ready to face the outside world? Proud to be Californian. So instead of writing for somebody else's campaign, I'm writing for mine. Yeah, so, so when I'm scrolling around at any point, the, if I scroll left more, the uh, my mouse just leaves the screen and goes to the other monitor, which is kind of a bummer for a PC game to not be set up for that. But the good news is when I click out there, the game doesn't immediately minimize and freak out the way so many other games do, so... It won't constantly interrupt you guys, at the very least. Alright, dare I try to go out there? Am I gonna be my own self-made man? Well, that's pretty out there. And I'm just- in, I'm not gonna freak out about this at all? Or be worried that my door is being left closed? <laughs> Hello? You're just- you've just been standing there. I'm worried. There you are, Green! Not only do you owe me five months' rent, you don't even bother to answer my letters anymore! I can barely get by on my small pension. I have no choice but to evict you. How oh, you look like a bum! Get off the drugs and find a real job, Green! 
Well, at least she's somewhat justified in her in her behavior and of creepily standing outside where I live, since she runs this place apparently. You can see the portal's through the wall. Love. Okay. Welcome to the 60s. A time three decades before my time. <laughs> Let's take a look around. Good shoes for good people. First steps in the real world. I love the color scheme in this game. Nice little background audio. Whoa. Is it warping out? There's a sound happening over here. Dare I investigate? Oh, it's one of you. Five. It's time to warp reality again. With my... apparent... <laughs> apparent spatial distorting powers. So you have to stand in specific locations to do this. Whoa! Buildings are getting taller. So I'm taking a world and replacing it with a different one. Now it's outside. Does anyone notice this? I can suddenly go inside here because there's a door that's open. Oh, not quite. Is that my... Who's back? Who's... What's... Whose stuff is that? Oh man, so this is kind of a, it's kind of a hidden object game to some extent. Actually, I don't even know if I'm on the air right now. So cool, man. Okay, so there's this new dope in town, straight from Mexico. Bring us a sample of Crystal 8 and we'll try it out live! I gotta tell you about my trip to the Red Planet. It was nighttime in the Celestial Dome, my friends! We are really nothing, and we are totally alone! Totally alone in this huge void! I'm just warping more things out there. And apparently they're talking about doing drugs on the radio. Different time, I suppose, if that's accurate at all. When I was highlighting these things, the, little, actually, the actual letters were changing. That was kind of a cool moment. So, can I change things around this entire street? Is it a three now? It is a three now. Let's try going upstairs. See what kind of perspective we get. Not much, maybe. Alright, this is gonna be one of those quiet... ...slow, introspective exploration games, then. Let's keep looking around. There's a diner. No one gonna run me over? Okay. Oh, you guys are closed? Can I- can I do anything about that with my amazing... ...reality-destroying powers? Ooh. There we go, there's something. Is it a studio? Oh, wait a minute. Is that the tower that you can put on top of a prison? Is that a prison? Did I just turn that building into a prison? Do I want to warp reality? <laughs> Is this other th this other world I'm getting a portal to? Whoa. Whoa. Game does not want you to walk that that direction. <laughs> okay. We found the edge of the world and it was a perspective to say the least. Yeah, that, that's a character. Hey, man, you going to Weird Worlds? You write sci-fi? Sure takes imagination. I'll get you to read a short story of mine. It's about this dog and he thinks garbage men are aliens. Maybe you could talk to Don about it? I heard him yelling earlier. He was going berserk, baby. The guy seems like a real hot ass. Goodbye, sir. Oh, no. Now it's... Now this place is covered and it's 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 quarantined by the police. It's all cut off. I'm making things worse. <laughs> like a nice little record shop and now it's like police state in the middle of it. Well, it looks so colorful and nice on the inside. Weird Worlds Publishing, 1961. That's where I work. I think. Oh yeah. 
He looks like everyone's favorite, well, <laughs> most annoying fun boss. Hey, Elvin. Man, you are a sorry sight. I'm still waiting on your first novel. You know, I've always been there for you, but we can't go on like this. I'm through with giving you advances to sit around all day sinking deeper into depression. I'd rather remain good friends and let you find another publisher. Look at me, Mr. Nice Guy, hooking you up with advertising gigs, but you can't even write those. The radio ads for the astronaut Patty dolls? Nothing. The ones for love lax laxatives? Nada. And me? I have to refund the clients. Sorry, pal. But you're a writer who doesn't write. Too bad. Sci-fi is cool. Like that guy from San Rafael who wrote that novel about the freaks who live on Mars? I didn't get all of it, but the guy tripped me out. That's the kind of stuff I'd like to publish and freak out. Little does he know, I'm now basically living a sci-fi. Is this another one of them? What in the world is gonna happen in this game? I'm happy to find out. Alright, we have four in here. That one's easy to find. Is it a- oh, hey! Jivin' B- Jivin' and Bebop with Dizzy Parker? Oh, and the NIS Orchestra. Hubba Hubba Girls. So it's a musical performance. Were, were they allowed to- I'm actually not- I'm actually not sure, like, were they- Were there performances that dressed like that in the 60s? I feel like that's a little ahead of time. Maybe that's what this alternate world is. Something's flickering over here on, is it on the other, si other side of the lamp? Inside the lamp? Yeah, it is. There is no lamp. Only darkness. Huh? Ah, right? There. I have to be moving. Interesting. It would disappear every time I stop moving. Sounds either garbled or like it's going backwards or something. Oh, that one's easy to find. Hello. The TV's talking to you? Elvin, you're freaking me out. Are you high or what? Uh, jury's out. But I might be- I might have a book to write you. Our illustrious writer has discovered a taste for multiple realities. I, uh, I might have a book to write you soon, sir. The Great Abe by Elvin Green. It's my book. It's some great book that I wrote. Tome 1, Tome 2. I thought there were subtitles for a second there, but it just says Weird Worlds Publing Publishing. So I, I write like a three book series on Abraham Lincoln or something weirdly similar to that or something. This one's done. Maybe you should get some help. I'm going to give you Barry's number. He's a great shrink. I wonder how many times you can talk to him. What are you doing? Did you lose something? Maybe you should get some... What are you... Not much else going on there. I hear another television. This is totally another... Uh, wow. I'm gonna get... The, this is a decent... This is gonna be a decent companion both to, uh... My Firewatch playthrough and my Witness playthrough, I think. Where what... what Cause one has the weird narrative going on. That's kind of... Done in just a walkabout fashion, and the other one has the world, the uh, environmental puzzles to to go looking for everywhere. Hi, just sneaking into your building. Don't mind me. Five. Even more around here. We're gonna have to still find more out in the street, but that one's gonna take me a while, I think. Oh, there we go. Oh, is he, is he gonna change? No, he's just standing there. Like, no big deal. Oh. Oh, they disappear when you walk into them. That's freaky. Which ones are real? Which ones are- that's a really freaky sight, actually. Everything just coming and going as you walk around. Hello, sir. Fuck! 
But man, I sure hope my number don't come up. No way I'm gonna get my skin full of lead and nam for Uncle Sam. That happens, I split for Canada. Any, anything else there? Nope, just a comment about the Vietnam War. And that entire mess. The, the, the people ruiner that that was for a while. Oh, hello. Sneaky sneaky. There you are. Yeah, take that bathroom. Whoa. We got very sci-fi all of a sudden. Is this alternate reality in the future? Or is it just, uh... Or is it just somehow a totally different progression of time? It does feel like everyone's staring at me all the time, which is odd. You can start climbing the stairs, but there's no more stairs up there. To, unless you can build more. Can I build more? Oh, hello. Oh, it's a bar now. Just slowly replacing this colorful, beautiful world with a desaturated blue place covered in police tape and posters where I'm successful. Very self-serving fantasy for this guy, isn't it? Oh, there's some tables. Oh, it's like a fine dining location to some extent. At least it went from being a bar to a diner. I mean, a diner to a bar. At the very least, or a place that has a bar. Do I see a glow over there, or is that just the television? There's one more in here. Hey, Elvin! Good to see you again! So, you finish your book! Here to pay your tab, right? Poor Stavros is broke! The police are everywhere with that crystal eight coming in from Mexico. Gets in the way of business. The clients are too scared to buy dope from Stavros now. Except for two local hippies. Some guy from the narc squad came by. All in black, like a crow, a tough guy. He was like something from that TV show, The Invaders. He asked about you. What's Elvin writing about? How does Elvin get high? He asked about Thea, too. She communist? She running with the Black Panthers? What does Stavros know? Scatter. he never knew there was a communist party in America. He's having tough times, then. Say what? The TV sent you a message? <laughs> you going cold turkey or what? Anything else? What you looking for, Elvin? Think Stavros leaves the stuff lying around? Yep. I guess my behaviors just look like me being a drug addict, don't they? Maybe they are. Oh, the other floor is right there. Weird, the next floor is relatively low. Low ceiling. This can be totally one of those games where someone's gonna watch a video and they're gonna see a glimpse of a shape and I- and I don't see it. And they're gonna be like, how does he not see it? Oh my god, that's where it was! Let's take a look around. I'm missing one. They're relatively small, too. They could be all over the place. Oh, hello. That's relatively straight straightforward. Oh, weird. All the- all the other boxes blinked out of existence. Weird. Hmm, all this is most stimulating, my friend. You've finally given some meaning to your life. As one of your fellow writers said, man is absurd in what he seeks, great through what he finds. Interesting. It's a little bit of a surprise to me that the place doesn't, uh... These places don't, like, exactly... transform all the way when you finish finding them all. Like, the, I think, I assume the TV just shuts down, right? Yep, it's like, you did it! 100%. But it's still like a weird splotchy half thing. I wonder if it comes into its own as you progress or not. Green, you pencil pusher. Why are you sticking your nose in other people's business, huh? Looking for Crystal 8, maybe? No one can get their hands on that shit. <laughs> Wanna help us out? Doesn't it bother you that good Americans are fighting for the free world in Vietnam? While you intellectuals are safe at home, getting high around the clock. One of these days we're gonna clean up California. Get rid of all the lefties, hopheads, homos, and blacks. Give it back to true Californians. 
Oh, the 60s. It was a transitional period. And I think I found the narc. Summer of love. My ass. You're just a fantastic person. Oh, I see it. Come back. When I see all you... Oops. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. But I saw... There you are. One more. We're probably down to one more total for this outside area. Just trying to get hit by a car. Hello, who are you? We didn't see you in Monterey. You missed everything, brother. Three days of total craziness. Can you imagine thousands of brothers and sisters tripping to the sound of a sitar? Some guys never came down. Otis sang, try a little tenderness. He was dressed like a prince. <gasps> I'd definitely spend the night with Jimmy and Otis. Like being right between fire and style. <laughs> you should have seen Jimmy. He fucked his Stratocaster right up on stage and torched it. Oh, don't you want to light my fire, Elvin? We're talking Jimi Hendrix and Otis Redding, I think. Man, she just has the most irritating affectation to her voice, though, doesn't she? There is a weird sense of paranoia in this game, where you're you're this writer and you're going around finding these weird. Oh, is that thing freaking out over there too? It is. Although a lot of things kind of look like, like they are, but she uh, the part where where you're warping reality, and you're maybe on drugs, and everyone's staring at you combines to a definitely combines to a certain tone. I'll make you forget your fear. I know you've always had a thing for pretty girls with black hair. Okay, then. Were you the guy that was in that van a second ago? Was it, was it down to one? It is down to one, right? Yeah, I think it might be that sign back there. You come out of your van? Hey, brother. It's been so long. Wow. You look like a junkie, dude. If you get any of that Crystal A, we're down. It's way better than Stavros' weed. They say it's some kind of chemical junk that hooks right up to a gland in your brain and sends you into a zillion dimensions. Watch out, brother. There's a guy from the Narc Squad hanging out in the neighborhood. We saw Bea leaving your house this morning in tears. Eh, it's her karma, brother. There's other fish in the sea. They're saying that the Sense 8 makes you feel like you're going to alternate dimensions. It sure sounds like I'm already on it then. Got room at your place now, huh? Think we could crash for a couple days? We could hang out, listen to music, get high like. You know, little Donna has always had a bit of a crush on you, Elvin. Um, be my guest. I'm, I've been evicted. <laughs> Got room at your place now, huh? Oh, he's gonna repeat himself. So where's the last one? I'm suspecting this sign over here because of its flickering nature. Let's see what we can find here. What's it flickering to? Chaos? Oh, there it is. It's your lucky day, Mr. Green. We're offering you a unique opportunity to pass through the looking glass. The ultimate trip into worlds that are waiting only for you. Worlds where reality and desire are one. Worlds where everything is possible, even oblivion. Are you ready to take the plunge into the triangle of earth, fire and air, Mr. Green? To quote one of your peers, Reality is nothing but a point of view. That... that silhouette. What is going on? There's just a weird pattern on the floor. Where's it coming from? Oh, am I supposed to line it up and click on it? Go up here, maybe? Oh ho! There's a sight. Oh ho ho ho! Okay, you've got my attention, game. I think this little cliffhanger might be a fun little point to end the first episode, guys. Thanks for watching, like always. Expect daily episodes, I think. And I'll see you guys next time. I think I, I think I want to see where this is going.